Well, let's get started. Today we've got another episode of Security Defense, this time starring King Kong himself. That's right, one of the most famous monsters in cinema history will be attacking us tonight. Wow, that's crazy, Eric. I can't believe it. King Kong? Really? Yep, we'll be building to defend against him today. He's really huge and scary. Do you have any other questions about what we're doing today on Security Defense? Nope, I don't think so. We can start right away. We have our house here that we're going to defend. Are you ready to start building, Timmy? It's my plan for us to create the greatest defense so far in security defense. Yep, absolutely, Eric. Let's do it. Hey, why is that zombie there? It's just in the house. I don't know why. Well, let me explain the first thing that we're building, Timmy. We're going to create a dispenser lava trap. It's going to make it so that King Kong gets stuck in the lava that comes out of the trap. Then it'll be much easier for us to shoot and hit him. Ah, oh, it's really awesome to imagine that we could create a trap that could really catch King Kong. If he got stuck in the lava, it'd practically be open season on him. Since he was so big, we'd get all of the time we needed to attack him. We've already got a good portion of it done, and with how much of the field it covers, he's almost for sure going to run into it. I know, Timmy. It's a great plan. All right, this trap is already nearly completed. What we're going to do now that all of the dispensers are in place is just go through and place a bucket of lava in each one. That way, you'll be able to get lava out of any of the dispensers, no matter which one he steps on from any angle. All right, we finished the lava dispenser trap. Now which part is next, Eric? I can see we're already digging out a massive area like you said we were going to, but I can't help but wonder what's coming after that part. Don't worry, Timmy. It'll all become clear soon. What if I told you that we were making a massive bomb as the next defense against King Kong's attack? A giant one, big enough to blow him up. I would say that was crazy, Eric. Just how much TNT are you trying to place here? It'll be so many blocks. That's going to cause a massive explosion and a huge crater when they all go off at the same time. Yep, that's right. It will cause a massive explosion. And look at how many blocks we're putting down and how well we're covering it up. He's going to be standing right in top of it when it blows up. And when it does, it'll help us beat King Kong. All right, Eric. That's a great plan. If that's how we're going to do it, then I trust and believe in you. Let's get everything finished up here so that we can move on to the next project and part of our defense. Oh, definitely, Timmy. We've already placed all the rest of the blocks here that we needed to. Now the TNT is covered up by the grass blocks and it's completely invisible. The only thing left that we're already doing is putting down the pressure plates to trigger the TNT underneath the surface. Do you have an idea for a final trap? I know what the next one is. I'm really excited to see what's next. Okay, now we're inside the house, and from what you said, we're going to create some kind of TNT generator or TNT launcher? I don't really understand it, Eric. Can you explain it again, please? Sure, help me put down the obsidian and get ready to play some other stuff. We're gonna create something that can generate TNT over and over again so we can explode it near King Kong and deal huge damage to it. That's essentially the plan. Ah, okay, I understand, Eric not that confusing after all. <gasps> Do you think that it'll be able to actually kill King Kong if it hits it? Oh, absolutely, Timmy. This trap should be pretty effective. It's basically going to generate the TNT and explode it right in his face. Look at how built up we have it already. There are really only a few parts left at this point. Right. Okay, well, if TNT is that effective, then I know exactly what to do for the final trap that we need to put inside of the house. It looks like this trap is finished, which is great, because now it's time to move on to my trap. Let's do it, Eric. I know that it's not exactly original, but it does work. We can fill our house with TNT as both a threat and a way to get away. If King Kong ever tries to break in or come in, we can light the TNT and escape out of the house. This is my trap. 
Oh, don't worry about whether or not it's original, Timmy. It's effective. That's all that matters in this situation. King Kong is going to attack soon, after all. We need to be ready. Oh, don't worry. I definitely agree, Eric. I remember you said there was really only one more part that we needed to do once we got done setting the TNT into the house. What was that again? Basically, the last part we really need is weapons and armor. We've created enough deadly defenses now that we should be able to deal with him, as long as we're properly armed and defended. So I'm gonna create an armor and weapons dispenser that does exactly that. All right, that's sweet, Eric. Then we'll have everything we need to be able to go into battle together. Oh, another thing that you shouldn't forget, make sure when you're setting the dispensers to include some ammo and food too. We'll probably need that as well. Oh, thanks for a Reminding me, Timmy, I'll definitely include the apples and the magazines in the chest next to the armor and weapons dispenser. It's already pretty much complete as it is anyway. Are there any last minute things you need to do or are you ready to fight? Oh no, don't worry about me, Eric. I have everything ready that I need, I think. Besides everything that you built the dispenser for, I think everything is prepared. I don't think we have anything left that we need to do. Okay, if we have everything that we need, then I'm gonna change it to night. There, let's see what happens now. Okay, probably a good idea for us to get armed and armored now, if we're going to try to fight this thing. Ooh, that roar is cool and scary at the same time. Let's go! All right, just try and shoot it as much as you can. I'm sure that this thing has a ridiculously high HP, so it'll probably take a lot of shots before it gets anywhere near close to going down. We'll likely have to rely on our traps for damage. I'm gonna try running in and getting closer, seeing if I can really hit it with every bullet up close. Let me do as much damage as I can, even if it's dangerous going close. Oh, we're dealing a lot of damage to Americ. And look, he's going towards the pressure plates that are part of the lava defense. Let's see if he gets stuck. I think he is actually getting stuck. Oh, wow. Look, Eric. King Kong is stuck and can't get out. That's really crazy. I didn't think that what I suggested would actually happen in that way. Just keep shooting him and don't stop. We're dealing a lot of damage. He's really stuck, so I guess it's just a free firing range for us. Open season and everything, just like we said. Oh, uh, in a way, it's kind of lame if he doesn't get to touch any of the other traps. We might have to bring him through and let him get damaged by the explosives if we don't want him stuck here forever. Might be kind of cheesy. Go ahead and try and see if you can get him free, Timmy. I'll help you if I can, but I'm also going to keep up the firepower. I really doubt that even all of the damage we've done so far will be enough. We'll likely need much more damage before we're really able to take that massive beast down, even if we've already shot him so much so far. The only thing that's unfortunate about trying to free him is if he actually manages to get loose from the lava, he's instantly going to try and hit me. I don't want to take too many hits or too much damage, but I'm going to try and go in anyway. Let me see if I can get him free. Every time we manage to get him somewhat loose, he inevitably gets caught on another one of the blocks or pressure plates. We're gonna have to move him in a specific way to make sure he gets clear of it. Okay, I think he might almost actually be free. The way his model is turning, it's really close. He's trying to slip off the lava and move back towards us. I think he got free. No, he's smacking into me and doing damage. Darn it. Well, now that he's loose, let's turn and run him towards the explosives. We want to make sure that he takes that damage. Keep shooting at him the whole time and let's lure him towards the big trap. That's it, keep going. Take him this way. Okay, that's it, he stepped on it. They're going to go off. Wow, that was a huge explosion and it's still going. All right, come on, Eric. Climb up the water stream here and let's keep shooting at him. It did damage, but I don't think he's dead yet. Before we use the TNT in the house, let's go upstairs and use the TNT trap to hit him with it. He's right in the perfect position for us to be able to do it. Here, let's hurry, activate it. There, he's gonna take a ton of damage. 
Right, let's both hop down while we set off the TNT in the house. That's another huge explosion there, but he's still up. He should be almost dead. Let's go ahead and try to finish him off right now with our weapons. We should have the ammo we need, right? Definitely. Let's get close and finish it off. It might take the rest of our ammo, but we'll have won. It doesn't matter. Here, I'm trying to get closer to it. Keep up the attacks and don't stop. We've almost won. I'm so excited for the next security defense. Oh, I think we finally killed him. Yeah! Definitely. We won. We're going to keep doing plenty of security defense videos. But for now, that's all. See you guys in the next video.